Hey you guys, my name's Justin. Welcome to Savage of the Witch. You guys have been wanting me to play this, at least some of you. Some of you are like, I don't like that one. I'm not gonna watch it, but you don't have to. So I, I, I wanna play it. Uh, it's been a while since I've, I've touched one of these games by Ubisoft. I did do Cafe Stella and I enjoyed that. I, I really did enjoy Cafe Stella. There was obviously parts of it that were okay, but I think for the most part, I did enjoy it. It's just something I would definitely take a break from afterwards, and I did. It's It's been a while, and I think it's time we do another Usersoft game. So, here we are, Sound of the Witch. Uh, a lot of you guys said this was the best one. A lot of you said Senrin Banka is the best. So, I'll probably eventually play both. Uh, but for now, we're just going to get to this one. I do have one question for you guys, though. Am I allowed to upload this to YouTube? Because that girl's boobs are literally popping out. Uh, but besides that, it looks okay. I, I gotta I gotta talk about the home screen though for a little little bit here. Uh, so we have another red red haired female character. We'll have to see. Is that gonna be the childhood friend again? Is that just like a reoccurring theme in these? Uh, or we have the black haired girl again. And uh, I, I I usually like the black haired girl. So we'll, we'll see about that. And then we have this girl who looks like Fuko from Plan Ad. Not sure how I feel about her. Is she gonna be like the best character? It looks like she's holding something. I can kind of see a little bit of the tip of it. It looks like a hammer. I, uh, I don't know what to think about that. I, I, I really don't. But I think we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this one. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll find out. It happened during lunch break as I was walking back to class from the restroom. Carried by the chilly, autumnal winds, a huge voice calls out to me from behind. Ah, what is it? I turn around to find a girl from my class, looking up at me with glossy eyes. Her cute looks have won over every guy in our class. With summer break behind us and September looming, unforgettable bonds have been forged between many of us. So this cute girl stopping me can only mean one thing. <sighs> Super important work, huh? Gosh, I just started. I just started and they're already trying to put work on me. Absolutely terrible. Who do you think I am? Some nice guy? Also, can I just point out real quick that the two guys on screen have really normal, you know, colored hair. And then you just have this bright blonde and whatever color that is. Yeah, that's totally normal for Japanese schools. I hope you weren't expecting a confession. Popular girls have better things to do than ask out a nobody like me. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the protagonist to just get asked out immediately. There, there's never a Chad protagonist in any of these. Ah, oh, doing something with your family or something. You poor soul, I'm so sorry for you. Oh wow, sounds serious. <laughs> yeah, it's just the entire fate of the rest of my career and my life, you know? Uh. Yeah, it does sound like you're in a real hole, huh? Anyways, uh, I'm busy, so... <laughs> she tilts her head to the side and looks at me with upturned eyes while playfully sticking out her tongue. Oh gosh, you're one of those people? I am well aware of how phony her cutesy expression is. Yes! A character that isn't oblivious! I know it's phony, but that doesn't change how cute I still think it is. <laughs> oh no. But I don't know anything about library committee work. <laughs> Oh, I have to do grunt work? Registering books in the library catalog, huh? Well, I guess it can't be that hard if it's just simple data entry. I mean, Shuji, don't accept this. If you're not getting paid for this kind of shit, like, why? Why do it? I'm your last hope? Well, looks like you ran out of hope. Okay, I'll do it if that's all there is to it. Ah, oh, you agreed to it. Better be a bunch of cute girls to come to this library. It's no big deal. 
課後よろしくね。図書室に行けば教えてくれる人がいるから。Yeah, I'm sure there will be. The girl happily skips her way back to our classroom. I'm being used, aren't I? Yeah, always. Always assume you're being used. I had a hunch, but I felt pressure to say yes since I've helped out a lot of other girls in her class already. This one is pretty high on the girl's social ladder, which makes turning her down and getting on her bad side a scary prospect. Maybe I agreed a little too quickly, though. What? Oh, please tell me this is our side character. I actually genuinely like the side characters in, in the Usosoft games generally. I mean, I played one. No, that's not true. I played, I played Parquet, so that's two. The side characters are usually pretty good.、Uh, so if this is my, my side relief comedy relief character, I'll, I'll accept that. <sighs> yeah, we took on someone else's work. For a library committee member, yeah, apparently there's something important going on today she can't put off. It's probably just going to get her nails done, honestly. It's probably the life changing thing. She's gonna go do that and then ask out a boy. That's her life changing decision. Uh, what did I tell you? She's just gonna go to a mixer, and that means like a. A kind of a way to meet other people, I believe. Like, didn't they have something like that at Cafe Stella? A mixer, I see. I suppose that does involve her future in a way. Kind of. I didn't know what exactly she was doing, but I didn't have the feeling it was as. I did have the feeling it wasn't as important as she made it sound. Considering how blatantly phony her cutesy expression was, it's questionable if she was even trying to hide it. Plus, I perceived a medicine like taste. The taste of lies. <laughs> Is that what that taste is after you eat something、uh, kind of bitter?、Uh, well, I could have. I just figured that I may as well do it if she already had other plans. You could have just said no. Yeah, I'm with your best friend here. I, he's actually a pretty sensible guy. I like him already.、Uh, the name of this exasperated fellow is Kaido Hiraki. He's a classmate I chat with a lot. We're basically friends. And I like him already. I really do. Yeah, he's, he's already, like, going up in my book of, like, good side characters. What the hell was that? An intense sour taste spread in my mouth as Kaido looks at me strangely. Is it the、uh, aftertaste of medicine? The sourness is so intense I almost grimace. But I managed to fake a smile instead. Perfectly aware of that myself, you know? Wow. Th this guy is more of a Chad than we are. Don't bother. I appreciate the offer, but I'm not a little child. I'm perfectly capable of saying no when I really don't want to do something. Wait, I've never seen you do so. I don't have much to do after school, anyways. It's not like people ask me for help every day. I get the feeling people ask him for help every day. Is anybody else? Gosh, she's had to tell me that many times. Sorry. It's not like I'm Mr. Nice Guy here. I don't know, you're Mr. Cave In Guy. I had a bad habit, the habit of ignoring my own feelings and just going with the flow. I can't say I've never done that before, okay? I've definitely had points in my life where I just kind of found it easier just to say yes and get through the conversation quicker. Kind of like everybody around me was an NPC and I just treated it that way, spamming A. I find it hard to turn people down as a result. Yeah, except I, I don't like doing that anymore. Because、uh, he's a virgin and he's hoping something will happen. He doesn't mean that. I, I, I feel like I'm right on this one. I just figured that being nice to girls could come in handy someday. Case in point. I'm obviously not going to be as lax with my money. Yeah, that's the thing, guys. Here, I'm going to give you a life lesson. Don't, don't just take girls out to expensive you know, dates and things like that if she's not the one. Uh, and, and don't do that to find out if she's the one. Because you know what? Women like to use you for free food.、Uh, take, take them out for something cheap. 
It's just I can't stand that awkwardness you get when people when turning people down. Anyways, it's different when I have something to do myself. I don't mind helping when I'm free. I mean, I'm not saying don't be a nice person, but also don't get taken advantage of either. Because it so happens that the nice people are usually the ones that get taken advantage of the most. Yeah, that's quite possible. What does this button do? Bookmark voice line. Oh, that's cool, so you can come back to it when you want to laugh. Who the hell is this? I'm trying to figure out the ages here, so he's not really in a uniform, and then she looks like she's 12. I mean, I think 12 is being generous. I only said 12 because it does look like she is or or has gone through a little bit of puberty. So I think I'm being generous with that one. Okay, I do like this, the way she talks. You're not hiding something from us, Saria. Arf skips a beat when I hear Karia. <sighs> Karia Wakana. One of my few friends. You're friends with an underage minor? I really am hiding something, something I've never told Kaido or Karia. Is it. I'm trying to think if I'm. I'm... Is it Karia? Karia? I'm trying to, like, think back to the little Japanese that I've learned in my life, okay? I've really tried to study it, and, uh, you know what? I just suck at it, okay? Despite being friends, something I don't want to know specifically because we're friends. I don't want to hear that from your smug-ass face, okay? Do you see this? Do you see how she's just making fun of us? It's a rather extreme assumption. I'm so glad they're aware. They they perfectly understand him, and it's great. Th these are good friends to have. I'm actually really liking the side character right now. More than I already did. I'm assuming Wakana is going to be a love interest, though, because she's a girl. So naturally... If you're gonna give me any girl on the screen, like, she's gotta be romanceable, okay? I don't care if she's a teacher. I don't care if it's the mom of one of the love interests. They they all gotta be given a route, okay? Or else I'm gonna be mad. Should've told me we were comrades. Keep your fetishes to yourself, dude. You're freaking me out. I don't know. I find it interesting when people share their fetishes, because then you really get to know them. What? Yeah, guys, having a girl work you to death doesn't turn you on. I mean, it should. It really stings to see you so generally confused by that. And really, girls shouldn't talk about fetishes in broad daylight. Alright, Wakanda, I'm liking you better and better by the second. These characters are great. I, I have not met a character so far that I don't like. <laughs> what kind of sexist BS is this? <laughs> sure, but usually you keep that sort of talk between girls. You get the hots from me or something? <laughs> Damn. Damn. She got you good. No, I find girls that, like, just openly talk about that shit kind of funny. Oh, damn! Gosh, okay. I'm liking her better already. Alright, the little lolly girl, you know, has has some heat to throw, okay? Either way, I don't get especially happy or anything when people work me. That's just because he's trying to be a nice guy, and he's just easily taken advantage of. That has nothing to do with his sexual preferences. Well, it's just... Won't girls really like me if I never turn them down? Oh, poor Shuji. You are so misled. Here's the thing. Okay, women like a guy who's nice, 
but they also like a bad boy, okay? So you have to be a little bit of both. Like, you can be nice and do nice sayings, but they need to think like you're the exception. Uh, or that they're the exception. Sorry. Uh, they, they want to seem like you, you have important things to do, but like, for them, you're making the exception and doing something out of your way. They want to feel special. I mean, everybody wants to feel special, so I'm not... I'm not saying anything bad by saying that. Like, everybody wants to feel special, uh, but you need to do that. And by just accepting every little request, you're not really making them feel special. They, they probably just assume you do that for everybody and that you're this nice guy. And once you're labeled as the nice guy... You know, there's certainly girls that like just straight up nice guys, but in my experience, I think you'll get get more girls kind of being a bad boy while doing nice things occasionally. <laughs> Thanks, you look like a dumbass. Man, it stings when you say that so bluntly. She completely brushed me off. <clears throat> There's not even a hint of bashfulness in her. Yeah, see, this is a daydream because this isn't reality. This would never happen. They would never say you're cool because you're a really nice guy. I wish that she'd cutely say something like that instead. It's not gonna happen. That's why you're daydreaming it. It won't happen. Wait, who is this girl in the background on the poster on the right? Do you guys see that? Sorry, getting distracted. Yeah, cuz cuz girls want a strong guy and it's being someone who's a pushover just shows that you're willing to give in to anybody And that's that's not somebody who can like protect them or or someone who can stand up for them in a situation Yeah, and girls want to know that you have a life of your own like if you're just constantly free enough to just do anything that somebody asks, it doesn't seem like you have a life outside of that. And I just don't think that looks good for you. You think I get taken advantage of, now you're just exaggerating. I feel like this is foreshadowing. Is this foreshadowing right now? As if you're clearly overthinking. Oh yeah, there's some scary ones out there. I'm married to one. Garia says so with a stern face and a wag of her finger. Gosh. Why are these two so smart? They are so... This is such good advice. Like, I'm, I'm not even memeing right now. Like, this is actual good advice. There are some girls that will do this to you, okay? I, I've had it happen to me. That's how I know. I've had to learn through experience. And don't... Don't learn through experience. Just just know, okay? Don't, don't be a dick. But also, don't get taken advantage of. That, that's my life advice. This is such... I love these two already. Shidaki, I, I can already tell I'm gonna like this. If, if the rest of the game is like this, we're in for a good time. We're in for a good time. See, even she's astonished. She's like, wow, holy shit, he's got us figured out. <gasps> No, King, don't apologize. This was good advice, okay? Looks like you've been through some serious shit, man. He he he's he he's a knower, okay? He he knows what it's like to get taken advantage of. And he's he's not gonna let that happen to anybody anymore. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna preach it. Mm, Amen. You know, we all we all have to start somewhere. It's okay if, if you've done some things in your past, it's a little bit cringy. Uh, we all have, or most likely. 
unless you had somebody who was really good and uh, helped you never to get taken advantage of in life. Oh, I'd be surprised that was only one girl. That's probably multiple. Uh, I've, I've definitely had multiple girls mess around with me. I've had one that's cheated on me. I've had uh, one that used me for food. Uh, I, I know what it's like. And uh, you just gotta learn from experience. Eventually you get to a point that's nice. Getting used like that actually made you happy, didn't it? Alright, disregard everything this man said. Everything. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't say that. No, you just ruined everything. You were preaching, you know, such good advice, and then you said that. I agree, it is, it's terrifying. This, this man has been broken. I thought he was, you know, in a good place, and he's actually just a broken man. I just don't get how someone can feel pleasure from being treated so crappily. I don't know. I think, I think a fetish like that is probably one of the worst. <laughs> I think you can like a lot of things, and that's that's probably one of the worst. <laughs> I I think being a masochist. In that sense, I, I think, like, if you like physically getting hurt, that's fine. I, I think, though, like, getting mentally hurt, that that's up there with, like, armpits. Like, those are no-goes, okay? You can, you can like a lot of things, but those are no-goes. Not planning on ever becoming a masochist veteran. Well, good. Learn from this guy. Take all the good advice he just told you, and then cut out what he just said at the end. <laughs> Pretend that didn't exist, okay? And you'll be pretty well off. How can he be so proud of being a masochist? What's giving him the confidence? Oh, Wakana, you poor soul. You're assuming he hasn't already. I wouldn't want that. All right, be more careful from now on. I I know he's saying that. I think he's already fallen. Uh, hopefully he can climb back out of that pit. Don't worry, Hideki. I I know the good things you said, and uh, I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that thing at the end. I'm gonna still enjoy you as a character. Got a question? How do I avoid being taken advantage of while coming off as soft? <laughs> it's like it's it's determined already. He can't change it. I just feel like I'd get on girl's bad side if I suddenly change my old attitude, which is scary in its own way. I'm trying to think, what can he do in his situation that would kind of change it? Uh, hmm, hmm. I think you just need to appear more busy than you are. Uh... Maybe date some girls. Maybe actually go out on some dates and uh, use the excuse that like, oh, I'm actually going out with my girlfriend or I can't do that for you because my girlfriend wants me to do something. Like, I don't know, maybe do that. Maybe seem more taken, I guess, than you already are. あ、なるほど。is it bad that the first thing that pops in my mind as I heard Ayachi is Ayaya! Ayaya! Ayaya? Ayaya! <laughs> I love that video. Alright, she's a perfect example. Damn, we just summoned her from the pits of hell. Is this the girl that like was wearing hardly any clothes? Is is this like her her normal look? Is she one of those girls that like appears normal when at work or in public and then like you see like a post on Instagram of like a completely different person? <laughs> this is just like their their persona to hide all of that. Oh yeah, this is an act, for sure. Nobody talks like this whatsoever. This is too prim and proper. There's something you need with me? Uh, I need you to stop faking it. 
話してたってほどじゃないから気にしないで悪口を言ってたわけでもないしさ。Hiraki, don't say that. Now she knows. Sorry if we offended you. いえ、少し気になっただけですから、別に怒っているわけじゃないです。それよりカリアさん、例の件ですが。あ、うん、バッチリ。いいところを紹介してもらったよ。おかげさまでなんとかなりそう。ありがとう。喜んでもらえたなら何よりです。ほんと、感謝してるからね。また何かあったらいつでも部室に来てくださいありがとう心強いな Things are too normal I don't like it あ、あやちさんノートありがとう助かったよしかもすごく綺麗なノートだった大したことじゃないのでそれより体調の方はもういいんですかうん、もうすっかり良くなったそれは良かったです他に困ったことはありますかうんうん、今のところは何かあったらいつでも話してください学院のことじゃなく指示に関することでも何でもおお、she's trying to get the gossip ありがとう何かあったら頼らせてもらうねはいいつでもどうぞ I feel like this is the goth girl that uh that you meet out in public and uh she acts really nice but then you know she's like doing rituals at home do you know Completely different person.、Uh, have you ever seen those videos like of, of those really goth girls? Like when they take off all the makeup and stuff, they kind of look like a normal person. And then you see what they look like once they do put on their normal, their normal outfits and their normal makeup. And they're like worshiping Satan. I feel like this is her. I guess she smiles warmly. It's a smile that takes my breath away every time. <sighs> you simp. Ayachi Nene. I'm inclined to believe that most people, man or woman, will turn around to look at her as she walks around town. She has a graceful bearing, a pretty face, and beautiful silky hair. She's a natural head turner. A bittersweet atmosphere follows her wherever she goes. She's one of the most prominent beauties here at. Oh gosh, how do I pronounce that?、Uh, is it Hime Matsu? Hime Matsu? Is it Hime, like. Denote like a princess or something. Incidentally, the reason the library committee girl Akira san is only fairly popular is that Ayashi is just that powerful. Hoshina-kun. Uh, what do you mean? I need you to help me get rid of this disguise. This, this illusion that you're some kind of nice girl. Oh, thanks. I'm happy for the offer, but there's nothing like that right now. So, this is. 私には何か悩み事があるように見えたりしますけど。See, she knows. She knows I'm under her. Y yeah. I and she stares at me with her beautiful eyes seeing right through me. Shut up. Stop being a simp. What she just said in this gaze is she onto something. No wait, there's no way she can find out my secret just by looking. What is your secret? I mean, you probably have multiple. なんて言ってみただけですから。Sure, there isn't. Yeah, despite how this looks, I'm not particularly close to Ayashi san or anything. We've been in the same class that's entering this school, though, and it seems like Ayashi can talk to just about anyone. See something in your cards? You have cards? I'm telling you guys, she, she's probably actually goth or something like that. She's got cards. I'm assuming they're, they're tarot cards, right? Tarot cards, how do you pronounce it? What's that supposed to mean? The part about her helping people. Oh, yeah. ぜったいに秘密というわけじゃないので気にしないでください。好奇心だけで来られると困るので、本当に悩んでる人以外には広めないようにお願いしているだけです。うーん、聞いちゃまずいことがあった。Hopefully we did。そんな行々しい話じ
Uh, just because we're talking about, like, you know, cards and things like that. I'm like, that sounds kind of occultish. I told you, she's going to be worshipping Satan before you know it. I didn't know we had one of those at the school. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I do wonder, though, do Japanese schools actually have occult clubs and things like that? I, I mean, the Japanese are kind of weird. I feel like they're very, uh hidden when it comes to, to their interests, you know, because, like, th their whole society is about not standing out. So I feel like a school would be a good place to, like, kind of indulge yourself, like, in a little bit more of an intimate setting to where you're not, like, really bothering other people and things like that. So I would imagine a lot of kids kind of do stuff like that. But I don't know how true that is in reality. I always see that in visual novels. Like, they always have these, like, cool clubs, but... I wonder how many of those actually exist. Wow, that's convenient. I wonder who else is going to join the club. Hold up. I'm currently the only member. The, the student council has been on our case. What do you mean, our? There, there's only you. <laughs> there's nobody else. Ayachi, does the name Haruhi Suzumiya mean anything to you? No, I yeah, I'm sure you can. Doing hand signs? What is this, Naruto? It's impressive how old that reference is. I don't think anyone's going to get that. Well, I probably didn't, didn't get it. There we have it. I don't know that I get it. I'm sorry. When you talk about hand signs, the first thing I think of is Naruto. Impressive how old that is. Albino snake divination. Just a hobby, huh? Also offering counseling. Wow, I mean, everybody needs a little bit of counseling, okay? We all got shit we're dealing with. You know, maybe I won't hesitate. Maybe getting dominated by the goth girl at school isn't such a bad thing. Sure, thanks. How do you need help with Japanese homework? You're Japanese! I mean, I can't really talk shit, because, like, I see how bad, you know, myself and other people that were just trying to learn English in school. Like, I saw how bad it was. Our, our education system is, is lacking. And, and I would say the education of the people going to the education system is lacking. Called by one of our classmates, Ayashi-san returns to the classroom. Oh, you just wait. There's a side of her we have not seen. That's because it's an illusion. It's one of her occult magic tricks. What was that sound, my guy? Let me to read your thoughts. Maybe I could get closer to her. 
Espers are real. No. Yeah, I'm with Wakana on this one. You're even drooling. My guy, stop being a simp. If you're drooling over a girl, you're simping. It doesn't matter what context. Guessing the girls don't spread the rumor around because of how many guys like you there are. So anyways, did you consult her about something, Karia? I mean, you just thanked her and all. Did you consult her and she gave you money? Oh, so you're a magician, okay. There's gotta be one character you can play the guitar, well, I guess you wouldn't want one if you couldn't. Karia firmly replies with a hint of embarrassment. Hell yeah. I don't know, I'm not musically inclined, or I would have tried to learn the guitar. Alright, Wakna, we're coming to your house. I want you to play me Wonderwall. That, if you can play Wonderwall, you're as you're good as a magician as anybody else. My only musical experience comes from music class, so that was ages ago. I don't know, I only knew one person who worked at a music store, and he told me you can pretty much, like, as far as electric guitars go, uh, a lot of them are kind of similar, so you can really just get one that you like that's at a decent price, and you should be fine with it. I mean, he, he didn't say they were, like, crazy expensive. True, especially vintage instruments, and now those go for is just bonkers. Wow, L Dad. Like, wh why would you not give your daughter money for an instrument? I mean, if my daughter told me she wanted an instrument, I'd be like, let's go. Yeah, like, if you're gonna actually play it and you're gonna learn it, like, sure. Why would you not want your child to gain a skill like that? How did Ayachi san help you with that? A part-time job. Oh no. What was the part-time job? I'm concerned because I don't think she's a nice girl. I think it's all a facade. I'm worried because schoolgirls, I think, are like kind of a commodity. Like they're kind of fetishized in Japan. So when you say you get a part-time job, I'm like... Yeah, I'm sure there's some ways you can make a lot of money with a certain, a certain kind of person. You're gonna reach your goal. バイトか。いいな、そういうの。俺にも紹介してくれないかな。今君、そしたらお近づきになれるかも。その上俺と称して初給料でデートに誘えるかもって考えたろ。Wow, is reading him like a book right now. 俺の周りは他の能力者だらけ。it's just not hard to figure out. Look, anyone could guess as much. The fact that she was right just means you're simple. I'm guessing all the other single guys out there are looking for opportunities too. And what did you know? Gosh, why are all the background characters losers? All the boys around us are jealously staring daggers at us. It's seriously painful. How much they suck. Why are you guys so jealous? Just talk to her yourself. Why are you so jealous? Just one short chat in the hallway is enough to produce this reaction. It just goes to show how popular Ayashi-san is. Uh, it's nothing. Uh, 
というか占ってもらえばせっかく誘われたわけだしよ。I don't know, I'll swing by and ask for one once something comes up. もったいないなそんな面白半分で言ったら逆に嫌われる気もするけどね。え、そうなの I don't know. I think he needs to do it just because he needs to get his life together. Yeah, I'll agree with her. I'll also agree. Okay, I'll agree with them. I'll agree with them. And I'll agree with her again, too. Uh, I, I, I mean, beauty is subjective, right? Like, there's a lot of people that maybe somebody else wouldn't find attractive, but somebody does. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Like, I think it, it just really matters if you find the person attractive. But I'm not saying all girls are shallow, but I do think, like, looks matter. そんな下心で近づくような人じゃないってことうん、グーの根も出ないってこういう時に使うんだな。It was game set and match after you, you gave me this epic rant about women, and then you ended it with, like, yeah, I kind of like being bossed around and told what to do. Like, you just, you were ruined after that. I don't know how you can recover. Guys, we better head back to class. Afternoon classes are about to start. Oh, Shuji, don't be like this. おっと、そうだね。I can't believe it's been 40 minutes and I'm not even out of the hallway hardly. Like, I literally just got to class. <laughs> We've had all of that time and I just barely made it out of the hallway. Whew! Lunch break has ended and classes have resumed again. However, I could tell without looking that some boys are still staring at me out of jealousy. Oh my gosh. Just ignore them. This isn't me being self conscious or getting the wrong impression. This is something I can actually feel with my body. You can feel when boys are looking at you with your body? Should I be concerned? To me, it literally feels like I'm being stabbed when people stare at me too much. Even now, it feels like I'm being pricked by needles. Okay, so it's anybody that looks at you. I was gonna say, if that's exclusively boys, that's kind of weird. Man, uh, these jealous looks really hurt. Elsie isn't the only thing I can feel. We just got out of the hallway and we're having a flashback to the hallway. <sighs> Game, you're losing me. You gotta do better. Same with the sourness when Kaido worried about me or the medicine like taste when Akita san lied to me. None of that was meant figuratively. I literally perceive the feelings of others through my five senses. Someone around me feels depressed, the mood around me turns heavy, I get a bitter taste in my mouth and a headache. When someone is angry, it's spiciness and a prickling pain like getting scorched. When someone feels worried or anxious, it's sourness instead. There are other emotions that come with colors or smells. This is a secret I can't tell anyone about. So because of that, I always try not to turn people down when they ask me for help. I'd be tormented by endless headaches and bitter tastes in my mouth if I made someone hate me for turning them down. As a result, I always pay more attention than normal to the feelings of those around me. It's not like I want to be this way, though. Incidentally, I have been examined at a hospital. A long time ago, being the honest and innocent kid I was, I kept telling people about this ability of mine. I was serious enough about it to worry my dad and teacher. To be safe, my dad took me to the hospital, but they found nothing wrong with me. The doctor suggested that I could be what they call a highly sensitive person, which isn't a curable condition. I mean, it sounds like you're just really observant of other people's feelings. I mean, obviously, there's a little bit of a supernatural element here that I'm sensing. But it, it sounds like you're just really aware of other people's feelings. And I had to accept my heightened sensitivity and learn to live with it. I've since come to understand that I'm very different from normal people, so I try not to mention it if I don't have to. At the hospital, the doctor there didn't seem to buy my story and looked at me in disbelief. I tasted an indescribably disgusting feeling at the time. It was like eating an overly strong, lukewarm soup. That's very specific. Anyways, that's why I don't want to. Consult with anyone about it. Like Kaido said, Ayachi san's invitation is compelling, but I just can't reveal my secret. And as I'm sure she and I will remain nothing more than classmates who occasionally chat and won't see each other again after graduation, a perfectly normal, shallow relationship. 
Definitely not hinting at anything, that's for sure. Our paths of life will almost certainly never intersect. Or so I thought. Dun dun dun. Well then, with school finally over, I grab my book bag and get up out of my seat. I like how that old, whole little scene was really like ominous. Like it was like this dark thing that, like from our past. Now like you, you just are aware of people's emotions and then you have feelings that are associated with those emotions. School finally over, I grab my book bag and get up out of my seat. It's cool, don't worry about it. See you tomorrow. For today, yeah, I wouldn't be right to turn her down after I already told her I'd do it. I appreciate the sentiment, but no thanks. What do you mean? The two of them smile wryly at me out of exasperation. Huh? What's this about? Yep, see, there in the right corner, there's another girl. A real lone wolf, huh? I mean, that's. Guys are lone wolves are cool. Okay, look, I'm, all I'm doing today is entering some data into the computer database, so I really don't need your help. I'll ask you for help for sure next time something like this happens. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a given. At least I'm glad I have good friends. Oh. Oh, he's asking her out on a date. She's gonna turn him down for sure. I know, he was probably into that. He likes being turned down. Oh, your part-time job. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
そこのパソコンの前に座ってくれる Yeah, sure. 登録画面さえ出してしまえばあは出た出たここに項目があるでしょカテゴリータイトル著者出版社とか項目全部ね Wow, this is really exciting. Only have to enter the data there and that's it. それだけ最後に登録ボタンを押してでもう一度この画面に戻すとわかった大丈夫そう I don't know. This seems really hard. Yeah, probably. Is it okay if I ask you if I have any questions later? もちろん。それじゃあ、登録してほしいのはここに積んでる本、全部ね。I'm willing to bet this cart is like stacked. Like this is full. Quite casually, but there's a small amount of books here. There are easily 50. I figured this is going to take us all day. The work itself won't be difficult, but it's certainly going to be time consuming. Well, better get started. Yeah, I knew they were going to have a little transition here. This is going to take us forever. Give my back a good stretch, my chair creaking underneath me. Like I said, guys, don't be the guy who does this, okay? You're, you're not doing yourself any favors. You're not going to get closer to them doing their grunt work, okay? It's a lot more tiresome than I expected. Yeah, because you're just sitting there doing the same thing over and over. Any, any job that you have to do that is just, it's going to wear you out. In order to fill the fields necessary to open the back cover of each book, forcing you to type with just one hand, that makes it impossible to work quickly. You can't just, like, prop it open? I mean, just use another book, keep it open. You can just put one book there, one book there, if, if it's trying to close itself. I mean, it sounds like you just wanted to do it with one hand. The sun is starting to set, and I'm still not done. Just a little bit more to go. No, sorry, this shouldn't take much longer, though. Wow. I wouldn't say she looks outright annoyed, but she doesn't exactly seem happy to hear that either. Hey, we're not in this library committee club, okay? So give us a break. We're not used to doing this. Library is probably busy during the exam season, but it's a ghost town at this time of year. Not a single other student has visited the library today, which means it's just the two of us. Just the two of us sitting here in this huge room. And her only duty is just to sit there waiting for me to finish my work, which means. A lightly bitter taste covers my tongue. What can I say other than that is exactly what I expected. Though, really, I don't think this girl is all that frustrated. My condition just reacts more strongly when the emotions are being directed at me. It's not nearly as bad when they're directed at other people instead. You can go home ahead of me if you want. I doubt anyone is going to come by this late. I can return the key to the faculty room myself once it's done. Hey, don't be a square. Come here to work in place of the library committee member. I'm sure me being the one to lock up the room wouldn't be a problem. Her expression relaxes a little. Looks like I'm managing to persuade her. You don't have to worry about me. I'm almost done registering the books anyways. Yeah, sure. Yeah, bye. Now that I'm alone, the bitter taste of my mouth gradually dissipates. So I feel like he's just trying to please other people so that he doesn't feel the guilt from it. That that's a pretty much what his ability is doing. Like he feels extra guilt from when he lets people down or when people are displeased with him or, or he has to make them, you know, wait. So he just does that to make himself feel better. He's just coping. Now we're comfortable. All right, let's get this done. There's no need to rush anymore, so I proceed at a leisurely pace. Gotta say, this library is pretty dang nice, and it's dead quiet, too. Kind of makes me want to mess around a little. I ain't the whole place myself right now. There's no one here to worry about. Now I can, for instance, dance naked on the table. Kind of way in the keyboard, slam the enter key, and then strike a triumphant pose. Got a little carried away there. That was just embarrassing. Cringe is real, even though I'm the only one here. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Yeah, that's the last of it. Satisfy, so shut down the PC and get ready to leave. All I have to do is grab my book bag and check to make sure everything's locked. Let's see, the windows are all shut. Looking good. <sighs> Why are we having so many flashbacks about things that just happened? It's not even been an hour yet. Like, if we're forgetting this much information, we're probably doing bad. Kaido kindly offered his help, and yet I really need to get better at accepting help. I mean, I don't think necessarily you could have done this much faster with a second person. Maybe they could have, like, helped you get the information quicker, but I wouldn't be able to hold a normal relationship if I tell. Besides, Kaido and Karia are really nice, are, are really kind to me, despite how I am. I feel bad for snubbing them like this. 
So what kind of books do they have here anyways? I wonder if they have any self-transformation books about changing yourself. Drop my book bag down. Drop my bag back down and check out the shelves in the back. It's a simple question asked out of idle curiosity. There's no deeper meaning to it. I just want to know what kind of books our library had. However, is it this insignificant decision that will eventually change that which I thought could never be changed? Foreshadowing! Huh? Oh crap, a teacher. I guess I took a little too much time. Um, another voice drowns out. Mine looks like someone else has also entered the library. This voice belongs to... Hell yeah. Teacher has a route? Yes? No? If the teacher doesn't have a route looking like that, that's a darn shame. Look at that. I, I might have been wrong. I always said that Ayachi was going to be like the goth girl in this scenario. She's got the little like, you know, cross. Yeah, yeah. She, she looks like she probably dresses up in makeup and in nice clothes after after school. Okay, teacher's best girl so far. Like, hands down, hands down. Also, I have a thing for girls with glasses, if you didn't already know. I mean, my wife wears glasses, so that should tell you something. But, uh, yeah, teacher, best girl for sure. Time slipped away from me. そのようだね。今閉めるところだよ。その前にちょっと調べ物をさせてほしいんですが、鍵を貸してもらえませんか？調べ物？タロットカードのことでしょうしょ。時間はかかりません。五分は無理かも。That's that's a gap. Most people would be like five, no, ten minutes. She's like, no, five, no, twenty minutes. Good. Good job. We're just gonna mass all the spare keys and then just lock everybody out. でも、30分以内に職員室に返却しに来ること。あと、正常はしっかりするように。わかりました。ありがとうございます。じゃ、そういうことで。あ、はい。気をつけます。Uh, are you okay? Our teacher having left just shouted us me and Ayashi son of the library. Okay, she doesn't know we're in here. This is where we get to see the true version of herself. I don't know. It's like I've completely missed my chance to come out. I knew it. It all makes sense now. That's why he's so nice to girls is because he has no interest in them. I knew it. Uh, I should have just come out while the teacher was still here. <laughs> oh, this joke just keeps giving. Though if I keep hiding here, she'll probably think I'm some kind of creep. I'm not doing anything wrong here, so it should be fine if I just come out and explain things to her. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. I'm so mean. I'm sorry. It'll become even more difficult to approach her once she becomes immersed in her research. So I'd like to approach her now, but wait, what is she doing? Aichi san isn't heading to any of the bookshelves. It says she goes and closes the door. Um, th this game is like PG 13, right? What is she doing? Would she close the door before starting her research? Why is she panting? Her face is red. Does she have a cold? Is she going to record one of those films? You know, like the, the girls like try to do something sneaky in the library. I've been tasting and smelling something entirely unfamiliar to me for a little while now. It's an intense kind of sweetness, and it's accompanied by a smell that's sending my heart pounding. I actually saw this experiencing an emotion strong enough for me to perceive it clear as day. What emotion could possibly be this strong? I've never sensed an emotion like this before. I'm sure you haven't. The thought of approaching her is no longer in my mind. I want to know about the strange emotion I'm sensing right now. Even more than the smell, the guilt I'm feeling from peeping on her has sent my heart racing like crazy. <laughs> She sounds to shows no signs of starting her research. Instead of going to the bookshelf, she goes to a nook hidden from the door and uh, uh, 
I don't know if I can show this. I don't know if I can show this. Oh, I see. We have a criminal on our hands. What are I supposed to report this? I mean, what the hell? What is she doing? I... What? Well, the show is over. Rational thought returns to my mind. Hey, aren't I in a pretty bad spot here? I'll be in a world of trouble if she finds me. Need to calm down and quietly... Very quietly get back behind the bookshelves. I <laughs> san suddenly stops talking. I trace her gaze to find my own book bag there on the ground. Oh shit, I totally forgot about that. She whips around and faces the bookshelves. Our eyes have met. Our eyes have met so directly that we might as well exchange short greetings. The situation is bad, really freaking bad. <laughs> Con Vanois. Don't worry, I just saw all of it. I direct a light b bow at her and quickly retreat. I figure my greeting would show her that I'm perfectly normal, unsuspicious person, <laughs> except. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? My plan was just to leave her be. She totally noticed me just now. Oh shit. Well, no shit she has. I mean, I freaking said good evening to her. What do I do? No idea. Seriously, I have no, absolutely no clue. What are you supposed to... How are you supposed to act in this kind of situation? Should I just, like, smile at her? Smile. That would only provoke her. Just smiling one. Do I need to at least say something as well? Like, nice going, girl. <laughs> this is the plate. Just fan the flames, why don't I? His ideas are bullshit. None of them will work. I just want to make a mad dash for the exit. We're in the same class. I can't avoid confrontation forever. Things will only get more awkward over time, so I should probably address the issue sooner rather than later. Alright, let's do this. I man up and walk out from behind the bookshelves. <laughs> Yeah, it's real hard. There's no single trace of her masturbating self from just a minute ago. She's just like usual, or maybe even calmer and gentler than usual. Huh? Er, yeah, you too. Nothing tough on your end. Just wet. Uh, okay, right, I'm sorry. The desk is even spotless. It's unbelievable how quickly she just managed to compose herself. Almost makes me doubt what I just witnessed. I'm not catching the slightest hint of distress from her. Rather, she's beyond composed that my spine is starting to tingle. Is that the female refractory period? So, uh, ayuchi saw about what just happened now. What did I just say? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Why does she... Who does she think she is? A dense anime protagonist. Well, uh, never mind. Forget about it. Yeah, heading home sounds nice. I think I would like to head home. You're right, see the thing is, someone at the library committee asked me to fill in for them since I was already here. I decided to look at some books. I really was about to leave, and there was just this coincidence. Uh, sorry I startled you. Alright, nothing happened. Never mind what I just said. Yeah, I'm sure you are done. You you seem done to me. Sure, yeah, I'll look up the room and explain everything to he, uh, Hishashima Sensei. Alright. Remember how I said she wasn't the good girl she appeared to be? Well, now we know. And I'm not saying doing that makes you a bad person, but the fact that you did it at school makes you a bad person. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Aichi-san grabs her book bag and without breaking her smile, casually walks out the library. As she's passing me, I, I don't know if this is your fault. You were doing it at the school. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. You have a classroom all to yourself. 
her, mumbling that to herself. The girl is freaking scary, especially with those cold, dead eyes. Aichisa walks out the hallway, closing the library door behind her. All right. I don't know what to tell you. You, I was just chilling, and then you're doing stuff. Aichi Sans emotions finally exploded. Uh, something else exploded first, though. Maybe she's finally acknowledging reality. Well, of course, she'd react like that. The one who caught her in the act uh, could never keep their composure forever, especially when the one who caught them is freaking out. My dad ever caught me jerking off. Ah, just imagine it makes me want to curl up in my bed and cry. I really feel sorry for her. Anyways, I really do need to head home now. <laughs> I bend down and reach for my book bag. Hmm? Something's on the ground here. A student ID. Oh, it's Ayashi Sans. I should return this to her, but I can't imagine how awkward approaching her will be. Yeah. That would be a little awkward, huh? Well, that was certainly an introduction to her character. Yeah. That's what I'd be saying, too. Just a bunch of dots. Yep. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure if that's going to make it into the final cut, everything that I just witnessed. I would like to like, have some way of, of kind of showing scenes like that, but like not posting them directly on YouTube for everyone to see. Uh, just because I'm not sure if I can. I'm not sure if I want to get in trouble for that, you know? Anyways, uh, we're going to end it here. I think this is a solid first episode. Uh, it was it was really good at the start, and then we proceeded to just do flashbacks and uh, talking about our, our feelings and emotions. And then we were talking about coming out, and then something else came out. And uh, yeah, it interesting progression for the first episode. Yeah, uh, not where I expected this to go at all. But I'm sure we'll get a glimpse of, of future things in the next episode. Uh, we'll get to know Aichi even more than we already have. And uh, maybe get to know some of the other characters that we're going to be seeing. But for now, I think we just leave it here. I mean, I don't know what else to say. A anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.